What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's hilarious. I warned against the message board. No, my father isn't. CIA agent Melvin Goodman. I could listen to Camel over and over and over again. I could go on and on with Camel. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Consider the source. Consider the source. Alive within Tokyo Shem Studios. Truth be known, I have some information for you. Outsider trying to be fine. Awesome. So, what, what, what are you say? talking about? Protests cannot be reactionary. They need to be as consistent as possible. I get you. That's what I'm saying. I get you. I don't. Look, as long as they're not hurting anybody, that's where I'm at. What that's you where I'm at. About? You know, vandalism, I don't really care. I mean, as long as you're not hurting, like, people, right? Target's going to be fine. If you. You know, if you're looting a mom and pop store, that's not cool. Target, you know what, they're, they're, they're going to be okay. And, and who are we to criticize how they protest? So that's that for this video. I've pounded out another one. I think John Belushi can be used as the model for what cocaine addiction does to the face. I think Aunt BB is probably the model for someone who was on benzos for a very long time and had no clue what it was doing. Kind of like how my eyesight deteriorated, yet I seemingly had no clue until I was practically blind. Completely blind. I got one eye that's probably worse than uh, Stevie Wonder. They're up there. Or it's different. Cataracts is like a total... It's like going into a car wash where you can't see anything out the car. That's what uh, a cataract is. That's what it feels like. That's what the experience represents. It's that glazy white. It's like being hit by a rain typhoon or whatever. And you just can't see past it. But that's a metaphor. There's more than one sense. There's more than one path to the implicate order. There's more than one way to unravel it. To see, to perceive, to understand, to grok. I worked for NSA from 1983 to 1991, so I, I am not a career spook. 